You're watching Local News Durango. I'm Debbie Rhoda. Fort Lewis College hopes a new class designed specifically for first-time college students will improve its retention rates and ultimately increase enrollment. The eight-week class, mandatory for all first-year students, links academic instruction with tips for student success. Faculty and staff members cover a topic that they love, often outside their disciplines, while teaching students how to be college students. The course includes class time as well as online components that cover topics like time management, physical, mental, and sexual health, wellness activities, and where to find assistance. For example, you want to know where to find a cup of coffee before the dining hall opens? It may be a simple question, but when you're a first-year student in a class filled with seniors, it may be a little intimidating to ask where the coffee can be found before your 8 o'clock class. College is a lot different than high school, and students are figuring out a lot more than just the classroom component. They only spend 15 hours a week in class, and then all of the rest of that time, they're also figuring out how to be people here in our community, and so we're trying to support them in both of those areas. We also have connected them with the Counseling Center, with the Leadership Center, with our Student Life Center. So I think connections that maybe we would have expected students to make on their own, this class provides kind of a gateway for that and a friendly place for them to say, well, where can I do my laundry? Or when is the best time to go eat dinner? Or what if I want to get coffee before the dining hall is open? Or how do I pay for my bill if I'm getting these notices? Who do I talk to about that? Or what if I need a flu shot? So kind of a gateway to the bigger connections they need to be successful, I think. The classes are much more than College Life 101. They also expose students to the liberal arts model of learning and the different ways you can explore a topic through the lenses of different disciplines. Language professor Carolina Alonso, an avid soccer fan, teaches a class called Soccer and Society, and it goes far beyond the game's rules, regulations, or the athletic skills of its players. This class is particularly interesting because it's not just the sport itself, it's what the sport represents in society, in communities, in nations, and we cover topics such as, you know, um, political identity in soccer and how that affects or what role that has in places like France or Spain that it's so divided between like Catalonia and, and Madrid and how they use the sport to like send political messages. Uh, race as well with the whole thing of France and you know the African players. We have things that are you know a little bit more uh, fun um, which is like social mobility which is something that we're covering today. We talk about how much money soccer players make and how that changes communities like the favelas in Brazil Fort Lewis College developed the first year launch classes to help students make connections more quickly with their peers, their professors, and staff members who provide student support services. A number of student retention studies show that when students develop strong relationships with others in the campus community, they're more likely to stay in school. According to retention data compiled by the Colorado Commission on Higher Education from spring 2017 into fall 2018, Fort Lewis College's retention rate was 62%, well below the statewide average of 73% for four-year institutions. And Fort Lewis College was nearly at the bottom of the list, ranking 11th out of 12 four-year colleges and universities in Colorado. Only Adams State College in Alamosa ranked lower at 54%. Overall enrollment also has dropped or remained stagnant during the past 10 years, and because Colorado higher education funding is based primarily on enrollment, the lower population affects the institution's financial bottom line and students' tuition rates as colleges make up the difference. But that's not the only reason the college started its first-year launch program, not even close. Faculty and staff want students to learn, succeed, graduate, and become professionals who contribute to the well-being of their communities and society. I'm really excited because the classes are smaller, um, because we work with first-year first students, um, which is something that we usually don't have. We have classes that are mixed with you know, seniors and, and other um, students that have different experiences, but this is like an amazing opportunity to motivate students, to engage them in their college life. So I'm, I'm really excited. If you'd like to know more about Fort Lewis College's first year launch class, visit fortlewis.edu.
Thanks for watching this edition of Local News Durango. You can find this and other local news network stories on durangotv.com, where you can sign up for daily news stories delivered to your inbox. You can also catch us on Durango Cable Channel 15 or on our digital network at various locations around town. I'm Deborah Rota for Local News Durango.